the glass. He, Marion is known for doing the uh, swan dress of York, which there was a lot of ridicule about this. She went to the Oscars years ago, and he made this dress like a swan. Does anyone re yeah. remember yeah. that? Yeah. Yes. I personally love that because I think fashion should be enjoyable, free and fun. And Bjork is a, a perfect example of someone who, who I really admire as a sort of free artist in this world. This is the, the Claxons. We made these costumes they, for Glastonbury, that was in 2007. And we did this sort of space age um, costume. And the idea of using this silver, which was really cheap fabric actually, the idea of using this silver was to give this sort of like otherworldly psychedelic energy. So we, so there was projections thrown onto this costume, which made it all go quite mental. So that was the idea behind that. That's my feet. I just threw them in there because I think they're cute. <laughs> Oh, that, by the way, these trainers are by Jeremy Scott. Do you know the designer Jeremy Scott? Uh, and yeah, he, he does great um, collaboration with Adidas, and, and that's where they come from. Also, in doing styling, not everything is always so crazy or so avant-garde. You know, this is a, this for this album cover. The idea was to do something that was very pared down, and that the concept was sort of like uh, man in the office. Um, so it, I wanted to show you something to balance off. I mean, my personal interest in is in like dressing up and like being free. But equally, if you're work, as a working stylist, not you don't always do what you want to do. You also have to sort of cater yourself to the concept and the job that you're being asked to do. And so this is a good example of doing something that's quite normal. If that makes sense. <clears throat> This is Shingi, who's the lead singer of the Noisettes, and this, these, I did these shots a few months ago. These were their a press shots. So, so uh, when when an, when a record company is um, uh, working with a band, that every so often they'll do a new set of shots to sort of show a different side of the band or just refresh their look. So in this shot, Shingi's wearing uh, a chandelier dress that was made by one of, the, one of the designers of the House of Blue Eyes, Carol Wiseman, who's a fine jeweller, but she also makes garments out of metal. So this was, she got an old chandelier and broke it up and then remade it as a dress. And the shoes that she's wearing are a pair of um, fetish boots by Terry de Havilland, who is an amazing shoemaker. Does anyone here know Terry de Havilland? Terry de Havilland is someone you should all know. He's amazing. This man, uh, he, he's been making shoes for 50 years now and was the shoemaker for David Bowie and Mick Jagger. And he is the archetypal rock and roll shoemaker. And he's somebody that is a really amazing person for you to actually do a little bit of research about. And he's recently had a bit of a renaissance as well. That's right, know. yes. I mean, he's, he's, been, he's 73 now, Terry de Havilland. He's got a studio in Kingston Road in Dalston. And um, you know, the work that he does is really inspiring. I mean, he also did, he was very much known for doing stuff in the sort of late 60s, early 70s. So a lot of, there was a sort of time when Ozzy Clark was making dresses, sort of uh, like the, the girl would wear an Ozzy Clark dress and a Terry de Havilland shoe and maybe a floppy hat.